Hi you guys, welcome back to It's Some Genie. Today we're going to be talking about relationship anxiety. When it comes to relationship anxiety, it can be very tough. It can be very hard um, for someone who is going through it. I'm not going to say that I've never went through it because I have. And, you know, I still do sometimes. Relationship anxiety is when you have this fear or, you know, some type of um, unease about your relationship. I feel that it can be overthinking. It can be as you get older, you start um, losing your self-confidence, you know, as we get older, it's, it's, it gets very hard. Even though I know I'm a sexy woman, I'm, I'm very sexy. Y'all see me? I'm very sexy. But you have this feeling of that you're getting older and we have new young girls. We have younger men uh, coming into this world, coming into the dating pool, coming to, you know, into life, into adulthood, and you get this feeling of, damn, I ain't got it no more. And, and I know a lot of men go through this because they always got to test and see if they still have it. I know y'all seen that Martin episode when it was like, do I got, he took his wedding ring off to see if he still had it. So that right there is relationship anxiety, seeing if you still have it um out in this world um i feel that for women it's a lot more tougher because we gain weight you know we start seeing gray hairs um sometimes our sexual confidence go down when we do gain weight we don't feel as sexy anymore and I feel that once that happened, I realized that you have to break it immediately. Once I feel that I'm gaining weight and I'm not, I don't want my husband to see me the way I'm looking during sex. When I feel, when I get that feeling of I need to cut the light out when having sex, oh, it's something wrong. It's something that I need to fix as a person, but it's kind of hard to do that. You know, we don't always blame ourselves. We, we go to the partner and blame them. Like it's something that they're doing, even though sometimes it can be, but it's really you and how you, 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 you feel as a person, how your self-confidence is weighing down on you. So I feel like Relationship anxiety can be overthinking. It can be uh, reassuring, making sure that, you know, constant reassuring, making sure that your husband or your wife or your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, you have to keep asking them, do you love me? Do you like how I look? Do you like this? Do you love me? Are you with me? Are you for real with me? Are you cheating? Are you doing this? Once you start doing that, that right there is relationship anxiety. And we want to get rid of that because hearing that from your partner over and over and over and over again, it kind of gets to them and they start feeling like, shit, do I love you? You At this point, your self-confidence is going way down and it's not sexy anymore. So... At that time, I feel like you should have a sit down with your partner and just discuss what um, the two of you can do to, you know, overcome this. Because I feel like every relationship goes through this. Every relationship. I don't care how healthy you may think your relationship is, you will some way, somehow, once in your relationship or twice however many at least once you will go through relationship anxiety like i said gaining weight is a big 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 deal 
when it comes to relationship anxiety. Because once you gain weight, you feel that you're not sexy anymore. You feel that he's not looking or she's not looking at you anymore. You feel that your sexual confidence goes down, which it does because I've dealt with it. Trust me. I've dealt with it. And trust me, uh, your girl is in the gym now. I, I, I can't deal with it. I like to have sex. I like to have sex with the lights on. Okay. That's just me. I'm the type of person I want to look at my partner, look at me in a sexual way like, oh, I got this. This girl is looking fine. She's jumping up and down. <laughs> she's jumping up and down on it. Like she's the sexiest woman I've ever seen in my life. I still want that to the day I die when it comes to me and my husband. And I want to look at him the same way. So gaining weight is a big one when it comes to relationship anxiety. What I recommend is if you feel that you are gaining weight and your partner is not looking at you the same, find a way to make a meal plan, lose some weight, go to the gym, get yourself together because this is not you. You being this big is not you. You've never been this big in your life, ever. This is just some type of depression or some type of negative energy that's hanging on to you that's making you do this or look this type of way. Trust me, this is not the person that you are. You can overcome this, but you would have to talk to your partner because you can't do it by yourself. Another way that relationship anxiety can sneak in is basically just overthinking. We, as an adult, think too much. We got the kids, we got the husband, we got ourselves. We got the kids, we got our wife, we got ourselves. We think too much when it comes to being adults. Even though it takes a lot of responsibility, we have to realize that it, we, have, we need time to relax, think, take a breath. We need time to do that. Without that, we will continue, our mind will continue to overthink. And sometimes when we overthink, we start, you know, overthinking things that's not even there. For example, you may think your partner, like your mind might be so clogged up with things that you do. You may feel that your partner doesn't pay attention to you anymore or your partner isn't looking at you anymore. Or your partner is just, you know, what is he doing? What is he doing? Why he got to go over? Why he got to go? Why he got to go to the store by himself? Why he got to go outside and watch the car? Baby, this is what men do. Let that man go. <laughs> Let that man go wash that car. He's not looking at no one. Sometimes men, and I had to realize, sometimes men need to get away. And I'm not talking about go out of town or, you know, all that stuff that some, <laughs> some men do and they actually be doing stuff. I'm talking about sometimes men need to get out of the house, go with their boys somewhere, go outside. Men need peace too outside of us, okay? Although I know I am my man's peace, okay? I am his peace. I know that he has to get out of the house and do something for himself just to stay a man, just to be himself, you know? And we as women are the same. I know that I have to get out sometimes. I have to do my own thing. And that goes a lot, a lot with independence. We have to be independent, okay? We can't lose ourselves in our uh, relationship. We have to continue to be the independent person some kind of way. We have to do some type of independent stuff because if we don't, we become too attached. And then when we, when we become too attached, we start, you know, being this person that is too, you know, clingy. Like we won't let our partner do anything. Like, you can't do nothing without me. 
Okay. We don't want to get like that. That that tears a relationship because now he's like, damn, well, can I go to the bathroom? Now look, men. I'm gonna need y'all, <laughs> I'm gonna need y'all to stop spending two hours, one to two hours in the damn bathroom. Okay. Now I do go in there and be like, come on now, you ready to eat? Let's let's go. I done gave you your time now. Let's go. <laughs> Sometimes I be like that because God damn, what are y'all doing in the bathroom? But that could also be him getting his peace of mind to himself. Okay. I realize that. Okay. But we don't need two hours in there. Anyways, we don't want to become too clingy to our partner. We have to have some type of independence. Okay. Relationship anxiety is very real. Okay. And I want to continue this series of relationship anxiety and how to really overcome it because it's very hard. It's very hard. It's not something you can get over in one day. It's not. But it is something you can work on and you can get over it. You can overcome it together. Talk to your partner. Always, always communicate. Open communication is the key to a real lasting relationship. Be open with your partner. Let them know how you feel. Let them know what you're thinking. Let them know everything you have in your mind. You don't want to keep things inside of your mind like that. Because once you do that, it's hard for you to talk to your partner. It's hard for you to let things uh, let things go. Always communicate with your partner because then they will know, okay, she's been open with me or he's been open with me. Now I can be open. We want to keep that communication open at all times. Okay. And I'm talking to y'all, but I'm also talking to myself because I go through it too. I'm not perfect. My husband is not perfect. But as I talk, I'm starting to understand that communication is key. We say that a lot, but you have to really understand that communication is really key. Nobody can imagine, nobody can read what's on your mind. You have to really understand, really talk it out. Talk it out, okay? So I'm going to continue to come back and, you know, talk about this relationship anxiety because it's real. It's real. And I want all of us to, you know, be in this together because we, you know, we, we're adults. Let's talk about this stuff. This is stuff that people really don't talk about. It's not always peaches and cream. It's not. And if you're in a real relationship, you know it's not always peaches and cream. But yeah, we can make we can make some peach cobbler. <laughs> we can make some peach cobbler. And we know we all know how much people love their crust. So it is some love in it. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Please like. Please comment. Let me know, have you ever in your relationship dealt with relationship anxiety? Have you ever dealt with it? Are you dealing with it now? What have you done to, you know, overcome it? Or what are you doing to work on it? Let me know. We can, I mean, we can, we can talk together. Let's, let's get through this together. Yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.